There is a new plan to track down potentially dangerous lead pipes in Mount Vernon. CBS 2's Doug William explains tonight. People are being asked to I help identify those trouble spots. The water is lead free, but the pipes at home may not be. That's the message from Mount Vernon Mayor Sean Patterson Howard while announcing a plan to track down old lead pipes. All of the water is clean and lead free, but we want to make sure that as it leaves the city's water facility and it comes into your home, that your pipes that connect to the city's pipes are lead free. Mount Vernon received a million dollars from the New York State Department of Health to seek out lead pipes. The mayor asking that residents allow city inspections on their pipes and quickly. By October 2024, the city needs to report back their findings to the state in hopes it will provide money to remove the old lead pipes and install new ones. Of the handful of Mount Vernon residents we spoke to today, not a single one said they drank the tap water here. Some said because of the taste and some said because of the concerns the city's now trying to address. If we don't have clean water, then it's a health crisis. I really don't know. I just drink bottled water. I use it to wash my face and I use it for bathing. You know, but you don't, you never drink it. I know, never drink it. City officials wouldn't confirm whether they've had cases of lead exposure in the city, but medical experts say lead in drinking water is especially harmful to young children who can suffer permanent impairment. It can be hard to spot the effects without a blood test. You want to take immediate action, and getting your child's lead level checked would be immediate, and then you'd have peace of mind or have information probably within days to know what your status is. Until they report their findings, Mayor Patterson Howard says the city doesn't have the funds to remove and replace lead pipes themselves. In Mount Vernon, New York, Doug Williams, CBS 2 News.